Development Administration grant that's part of the Department of Commerce that we're awarding today is the 17th project, quite frankly, of the Economic Development Administration here in Pennsylvania this year. And this grant will increase Ben Franklin's ability to deliver hands-on support, guidance, and connections to key resources for early stage technology companies during this economic recovery. There, a, this expanded green facility will be a complement to the existing incubator, which invests in young, unproven uh, companies. And the addition will also house a second stage incubator to help already established businesses grow through the introduction of new technologies and best practices. On behalf of President Obama, Vice President Biden, and the entire administration, we're honored to be here today to announce this Recovery Act investment. At the Commerce Department, we've acted expeditiously to get the Recovery Act funds out to the communities where it's needed most, where it has great potential of creating more jobs. And we've made vital investments in things like workforce development, training centers, regional business incubators, and transportation projects to connect communities to key markets. The Vice President and the President have set very ambitious goals to move recovery dollars out the door as quickly as possible. And with the delivery of today's grant, the Economic Development Administration under John Fernandez's great leadership has given out all of its Recovery Act funds one year ahead of schedule. We know that we're not out of the woods yet. The only way we can see sustained economic recovery is through old-fashioned American hard work, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And that's why yesterday uh, I was pleased to announce the creation of an Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship that will report directly to me. We'll also be putting together a National Advisory Council of Entrepreneurs, Venture Capitalists, Angel Investors, Nonprofit Leaders, and economic experts to really look at what are the policies that the President and the Congress should implement in order to jumpstart and, and uh, promote greater entrepreneurship in America. We know that it's through entrepreneurship, small businesses, that we can truly grow and position our country for the jobs of the future so that we are truly competitive, competitive in this global high-tech 21st century economy providing good paying jobs, not just for today's workers, but our children and our grandchildren. So that through innovation, and through entrepreneurs, and providing policies that will drive entrepreneurship in this country, we can encourage our children to have big dreams and know that in America, those dreams will come true. We are building on the dynamic private sector to ensure that the next economic expansion is solid, broad-based, and permanent. And so that's why we're here today, uh, to learn more about uh, what you are doing, of course, to announce this grant, to learn and see firsthand the innovation that occurs here, but to really bring back your ideas, your thoughts, your questions, uh, and even your critiques about what we in the administration can do better to encourage uh, that entrepreneurship, that innovation, and the growth of good paying jobs, not just here in Bethlehem, in Pennsylvania, but all around the country. So with that, uh, let's uh, let's engage in a conversation. We'd like to hear from your from you now with your thoughts and questions, and I'll stop talking. Thank you all very much.